Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, this is Day of the Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 12, called Bizarro. So we start off with uh, Max got uh, Jane Doe and judged her with stuff and had surgery to look like Kara. And he starts talking Cray about being, like, basically having like a god complex and this whole thing. And then we have Kat uh, got her own latte and one for Kara, which is so unlike Kat Grant. And I'm just like, why is she being nice? <laughs> and uh, then we have Kat goes um, with her plan, with, which I don't understand. <laughs> And then we have a jealousy alert where um, Bizarro, um, basically, um, we come back to Bizarro, and basically what happens is they electroshock her to hate Supergirl. So every time they super Supergirl, she literally has electroshock, so she has um, the innateness to hate her. Because when that type of thing keeps happening, every time we associate something with pain, it equals hate for Supergirl. So we cut to um, date night with Kara and Adam, and it's going really good. And Kara has to bail to save a train, so she has to peace out for a second. She says, "I gotta go," and then she battles Bizarro and saves the cable car. Then they found um, they found out how many girls Max have created. It was seven and all of them i guess died except for her which is crazy and then basically max manipulates um car i mean the old the bizarro car and then then we have alex confronts max and he fires back and there, there's a whole bickering thing going on then james and win are jealous of Adam. <laughs> and then Wynn told James that Kara likes him and to ask her out. <laughs> and then we have a date night where Kara opens up to Adam a little bit and they kiss. And then Bizarro kidnaps her. And then the Dio helps out once they uh, get to her and they use kryptonite bullets. And basically, they mess up her face. Like, they don't really affect her effect, but they affect her, like, appearance. And, <laughs> and then we have Kara and Adam break up. Because um, when she shows up the word next day, you know, they just say, like, it's like a mutual type thing. Then Max gets arrested, and then we have Bizarro gets James. And then James talks to Bizarro, and it turns out he actually loves Kara, and uses um, the signal that um, Superman gave him that also works with Supergirl, where this high pitch frequency can ca contact her. Then Kara, and then it's Kara versus Bizarro. Then Dio has a has new bullets to use, so Alex shoots the, uh, Bizarro, and then we get to see uh, Bizarro kind of comes down and says, like, I'm sorry about everything. And then John has to put her under. And then, um, basically, Max taunts them in this D.O. cell. And then, um, they just kind of norm and leave. Then we have uh, Kat is back to her normal self with Kara. And, yeah. <laughs> it's not pretty. And then Kara gets attacked by by something at her apartment after work. And that's the end of the episode. Crazy episode. And I'm going to give this a B plus. I did enjoy the episode. There was just a couple key things. I was just like, mm, really? I just feel like the way they, they could have kept the uh, whole Adam Foster thing going. I feel like, I feel like, I don't know. It was probably like a scheduling issue or something ridiculous. But um, I don't know. I just felt like the whole thing is like, it was only like a two person, like, you know, arc. I'm just like, could have lasted three to four and then done something. And, you know, it was just a couple of little key things like that. I was just like, mm, okay. But overall, I did really did enjoy the episode. And we get to see 
the Supergirl version of Bizarro and not the Superman version, which I thought was a really interesting take. So I really did enjoy that. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. Not me, this video. <laughs> so if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.